Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. And he's got a kicky new ensemble. Yeah, well, I was doing other things this morning. I forgot to bring a backup shirt. Yes. And I had to come straight to campus. Mm. And I thought I was going to have time to change back into my normal ensemble. Well, I did have time to change and change into my fancy shirt. As you can see. <laughs> and you still didn't. <laughs> Where's the thing? Oh, this is a, a, this is a whiskey from Gary Ferguson. <laughs> Magnificent. Magnificent! <laughs> <laughs> Gary Ferguson, you magnificent. You magnificent. Bastard. Oh. I was almost gonna see how far you could lean. <laughs> I would press ear hole to ear oh, hole. Oh, no, I know. That's And then I, I would grab the other no, side no, of your no. head and then I would grind it you in. You didn't let me finish. All right. I realized where that was going to end. <laughs> yeah. And so I shut it down. <laughs> okay. Do you felt the impending ear hole? No, you just leaned a little bit. I was like, I could. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, no, I know. I know. Mm, what am I thinking? That was mm, ridiculous. What is mash cut? So this is sort of. Sounds like two different parts of the process. You get the mash bill, and then you get the cuts from the distilled. Th this is sort of Total process. Wine's response to like, let's do a monkey shoulder accessible space side blend. Same bottle shape. Yeah, right? So it is a blended malt. Right? Not a blended scotch. Right. So only malt whiskey, which is cool. Okay. And uh, a superior blend hey. of regional single malts. It's probably from the space size. It feels a lot like monkey shoulder. It, <laughs> ah, wow. It's more musty. Like like uh, a little more of the peppery must. We're definitely going to compare monkey shoulder to yeah. this. But. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that fruity, malty, musty. You're going to be okay? <laughs> I just shot a drop. Right on to the low hawk. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold uh, on. You ever heard of that? Did you this old patch? refer to a portion of your facial hair? With a low hawk? As the low hawk? Well, so back in the day, my bass player had only this strip of hair right here. Yeah. All the way down. Yeah. And he's bald like me. Right. And he had no other facial hair. So we called it a low hawk. Ah. ah. I think the last time <laughs> I was rocking the chin strip. Yeah. Uh, it was probably about uh, 16 years old. You had a chin strip at I'd 16? Working in the grocery store. Ha! Of course. I had, it, I had it for about two weeks. And then they made you shave it? In that length of time, I asked out a girl who also worked in the store. Oh, yeah. It was a hard pass. Hard pass. <laughs> Did you shave it? And then I went home. I was like, whatever could have gone. Oh. Oh, it's probably this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going. That was the right call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, malt fruit, musty grain. Dust, almost. Not earth. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, it's hard for me to give notes on this because I just want to say monkey shoulder. Yeah. Well, we're going to A-B compare. Uh, the proof is, hey, 43%. I seem to remember monkey shoulder being about Now, this is more peppery at the end than monkey shoulder. I think I'm going to go on record. I'm going to bet that I like this better than monkey shoulder. I'm still on the nose. I'm going in. This reminds me more of like a more fruity, better scotchy chivas. You know what? You say you're going to like this better? Mm hmm I think I'm going to like monkey shoulder better. Because I remember there being a little bit more of a ripe fruitiness to yeah. monkey shoulder. There is more fruit in monkey shoulder from if my memory serves. It's also a little bit softer on the nose. Yeah, it's creamier, more buttery. Yeah. But it doesn't have that kind of funky, ashy finish. This has a slight hint of earth and ash to the finish. Right. And even though I do agree the beginning of the palate is flatter right. and less fruity, mm -hmm. uh, I like the finish better. This is just funny though. Mm -hmm. I mean, like so, lab labels aside, yeah, <laughs> just the bottle. Yeah. So we probably, I probably shouldn't do this, but there's a two minute video from my guys in Ireland yeah. who that is exactly about this. Okay. And that's all that I'm thinking. What guys? I did, it's the foil arms and hog. They're talking about mash cut and monkey shoulder? No, no, no. They're talking about brands ripping off other brands. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll link it in the description. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the, this is a comedy duo that you are a big fan of. Oh, huge. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to get them to the US, but it never. Um, maybe wait a few months. Maybe wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding a bit more honey on the mash cut. On the nose on or the, the... On the finish. Okay. Yeah. Honey on the finish and the mash kit. Yeah, after that little 
burst of earthy, peppery things. Right. It does go sweet finish. I do like the finish better on the mashed cookies. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you though? It's the finish that won me over. But the front half of Monkey Shoulder is so much better. I don't know if I could think of a more generic name, like or bottle, or it, everything. It, it, it solicits like no imagery, no identity. <gasps> mash, like most people aren't going to know what the mash is. Most people aren't going to know what the, what the cut is. Do you remember what Monkey Shoulder is named after? Uh, is this at least like a lot less expensive than Monkey Shoulder? No, no. Monkey Shoulder isn't even that expensive. No, it's less, but yeah. Do you remember what Monkey Shoulder is a name for? Yeah, the guy is a, it's a, it's a physical ailment. Yes. Could be sweeping the barley and their shoulders would get all, yeah. Do they get a guy, a guy, oh, he's a guy malt. shoveling malt? <laughs> really? This is such a middle finger to monkey shoulder. <laughs> That's, That's it. We're releasing Crown Royal. Clown, no, Clown Royal. No, why would you say? The name of that whiskey brand that people know that has nothing to do with Clown, Clown Loyal. Loyal. Yeah. Why would you even? I don't same know. Breath is <laughs> totally different. Obviously, not the same thing. <laughs> All right. I'm I, gonna... Look, what price point? Look, let's look it up in our area for just to see. Yeah. Right. So Monkey Shoulder, Total Wine. They're so close, man. Monkey Shoulder Total Wine is. You know what? You know what? The Mashkit has a better finish. They're so similar leading up to that. 30 bucks. Okay. Mash cut's a better finish. I agree. You say it. Mash cut, 25 bucks. So, five. Ooh. Say five dollars and you get something pretty, pretty damn similar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, and I feel a little guilty saying I like, you know, the finish is a bit better. better yeah. Because I know, it's right? not that hard to no. come up with a new name, an or original anything. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Caden Michael Faust, Faust, does anyone keep a journal of whiskeys tasted? I've been using the sequential whiskey tasting chart from yes. whiskey, smith, uh, whiskey Smiths, easier for beginners than a flavor wheel. And each night I spend about an hour dissecting the profile of one whiskey. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So what's the whiskey smiths thing he's talking about? So that's this. This is a whiskey sequential tasting guidebook. Yep. And what it does is one of the hardest things when you're trying to smell things and taste new things right. is trying to recall what maybe you are, it is that you're smelling. Right. And so one of the fastest ways to shortcut and build those patterns is to actually just go down a list of possible things you could be smelling mm -hmm. and then in asking yourself yes or no. Yeah. Right? So for example, on this one, on the mash cut, vanilla, this is all in the notes. Yes or no? A vanilla? Yeah. I mean, is there room for like slight Ish. or is it just like a yes no, or no? No, it, no, it's up to you. This is, you're the only one who's ever going to interpret this ever I again. I see slight. Uh, uh, coconut? No. no. Caramel? Yes. Maple? No. no. Honey? Yes. Yeah. Butterscotch? Yes. Mm, cereal? A little bit of butterscotch. Yeah. Cereal, I guess cereal. So what I do on a lot of these is I write like a tiny little number, like when you say squared, yeah. like FT squared, mm -hmm. I write that as my number grade between one and 10. Instead of circling a word, I'll write a, a hashtag number. Okay. Um, mint. So uh, for what's going to be yeah. most helpful is can, where can people get something like that? I uh, can go to the website. They can download this for free. Whiskey Smiths? Yeah, whiskeysmiths.com. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if we remember, that'll be in the description below. Yeah. Uh, but that's, th I do this constantly. Anytime I do new whiskey for the first time at my house, mm. I have a journal. Mm. I write a lot of notes. Mm. I circle things. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I go back. I write a date. So the next time I go back, if I things change, I adjust it with a new date. Mm -hmm. Connor Vincent, not sure if you guys will see this. We'll see it. Mm -hmm. But you guys did a dry week. You should just stop there. <laughs> we saw it. Oh, we saw it. And here's the funny. <laughs> did a dry week a bit ago, and I was not going to participate. Right. I inadvertently had to join along as I received a concussion. Oh, oh damn. So I was forced to participate, and as much as it sucked to be away from whiskey, my palate was definitely reset after two weeks. Yes, it right? makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, very cool to see, and would recommend it for anyone that hasn't participated yet. Yeah. Dry week, though, not the concussion. concussion yeah, yeah. Concussion sucks. Maybe do it voluntarily. Yeah. Um, even if you're not into the whole uh, putting a pause on your consumption to double check and make sure there's not some type of potential substance dependency issue creeping up on you, then yeah, just for the sake of resetting your power. Yeah, just a flavor reset. Yeah, it helps. It d dramatically helps. Yeah. And that'll be like in you know, a month and a half or something. Uh, probably be in June. Okay. It's almost May. It'll probably be in June. Okay. Um, you know what? 
like, meh. This, this is how, this is, I don't know if this is petty or anti-petty. Mm. If this is vindictive or this is justified. Whenever somebody completely just apes mm -hmm. some, somebody else's work. That dramatically. I kind of want to spend the extra five bucks. Yeah, me too. Like, I got nothing invested in Monkey Shoulder. They've yeah. never paid us anything. They, uh, they should. Right. But they haven't. No, we've added yeah. a few, you know, several tens of millions of dollars to their bottom line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not on purpose. Not on purpose. Happened. Not on purpose. Not we on purpose. stumbled into it's it. Joel's fault. You voted it up. Mm -hmm. Um. But because it was the thing that they're trying to rip off, I'm gonna spend the extra five bucks, yep. even though I like to finish on this better, just because, come on, it's not hard to come up with an original Yeah, don't thing. be an ass. Yeah. All right, that's the motto for now. Don't be. No, tomorrow we're gonna review one that did this correctly. Okay. Tune in. <laughs> I don't know. Here's tomorrow's, tomorrow's episode. <laughs> Here's somebody stealing and drinking. I really wanna do, on tomorrow's episode. On tomorrow's episode. No, you're fat. Damn it. <laughs> Here's to fighting, stealing a drink. <laughs> fight me a fight for a friend. You're just mad because I called you one third of the way towards Golem. That's true. Nursing that grudge. <laughs> if you steal these, you'll get a sorry. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.